Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this video, we are going to analyze the flow and heat transfer due to a mixing of hot and cold water. The domain is like this. There are two inlets and a single outlet. Inlet in the inlet one, water is entering at a temperature of 340 Kelvin at a velocity of 0 0.001 meter per second. At at inlet 2, water is entering at a temperature of 300 Kelvin. We need to find out what is the effective temperature at this outlet due to mixing of this two streams inside this spherical shape. Let's start creating the geometry in ANSYS Design Modeler. Right click on the geometry and select New Design Modeler Geometry. Now set the units to millimeter. We are selecting XY plane to draw this U shape geometry. Now go to sketching, select a polyline. Now draw this polyline starting from and consonants with x line, x axis. Now right click and select open it. Now go to constants, select symmetry constants, select the y axis, then the first line and the second line. So that though both lines would be symmetric about the axis. Now put the dimensions of this line. Alleged this as well as this bottom line. Put its width as 90 mm and height as 80 mm. Now again go to constants and select equal length option so that the both line will be equal length. Select the first line and the second line so that the both lines would be equal length of 80 mm. Now we are going to apply fillet option to this corners. For this, we are going to use the modify tool. Select fillet option, enter the fillet radius over here, enter the fillet radius of 20 mm, select the first line and second line. Again, this corner. Click on generate. Now we are going to create a circle at the end of this U. For this, we are going to create a new plane. So select the new plane option. This is the plane 4. Make this sketch always on. Now in this new plane, we are going to create this one. Where the new plane will be? It would be at, it would be a type like from point and normal. Select the end of this U point as the base point. You can select any one of this point. Then select this line as the normal. Then click on apply. Now here the base plane is plane is created, new plane is created at the end of this U shape. We are going to draw a circle at this end. Go to sketching toolbar. Select circle option. And draw a circle at the origin. Now put the dimension. Open the detail view and select D1 and put the dimension as 20 mm and click on generate. Now go to create menu and select sweep option. We are going to sweep this circle along this U-shaped uh, sketch. 
this is a sweep geometry now go to sketching now select x y plane now in the x z plane we are going to draw another circle go to sketching and select circle option and draw at the center origin now put dimension put it as the same diameter of this inlet pipe geometry now we are going to extrude this circle to create the outlet section go to create option and select extrude select this sketch and change the direction as reversed as you can see the shadow line over here going downward direction put the depth as 80 mm now click on generate this is our outlet a section geometry outlet pipe outlet part now we are going to create the middle spherical shape using the primitive option for this go to file create menu and go to primitive and select sphere option put the origin at x0 y0 and z0 and we put the radius of this sphere as 25 mm then click on generate now sphere is generated at this middle point this is all total our fluid domain geometry is complete now proceed for meshing this domain let's create this default meshing first the right click on the mesh and select generate mesh now we are going to improve this improvise this meshing mesh is little bit coarse over here we need to refine the mesh for this go to sizing option select the adaptive sizing option and increase the resolution up to 7 now again generate the mesh mesh has been imp improved now we are going to put the named selections now you can check the element quality you can see maximum elements are being element quality of nearest to the one now we are going to put the named selection select this face and name it as inlet one select this second face and name it as inlet 2 click on okay and select this bottom face and name it as outlet select all this outer faces of this flow domain name it as pipe wall I check all this name selection. Now right click on the mesh and select update mesh, so that the mesh cell will be linked with the fluent solver. Now meshing is complete. Now proceed for solver setup in ANSYS fluent. open the setup select the double precision 
select number of processor you want to use. We are going to impose gravity in along the y direction. Now go to models, select the viscous model, change it from k omega to laminar model. Click on OK. Turn on the energy equation. Now go to materials. Select the fluid. Go to fluent database. Add water liquid from this material library. Click on copy. Then close. Click on change or create. And close this one. Water liquid has been added in the metal list. Now go to the cell zone condition and assign the water liquid to this fluid domain. Click on apply, then close. Now go to boundary conditions. Filter the zone type. Now select inlet 1. Click on edit. Put the velocity magnitude as 0 0.001 meter per second. And then go to thermal tab and enter the inlet fluid temperature over here. Let the inlet 1 as 340 Kelvin. Click on apply, then close. This is your inlet 1 condition. Now go to inlet 2. Click on edit. Enter the velocity magnitude, same as this inlet 1, that is 0 0.001 meter per second. But in thermal tab, we need to change the temperature. We need to set the temperature as 300 Kelvin. That is normal atmospheric temperature of water. Now in the wall, keep the default adiabatic wall condition as heat flux is equal to 0. Keep the default boundary condition for outlet, that is pressure outlet. Now go to solution method. Select simple, simple AC method. Scheme, pressure velocity coupling and green gas cell best special discretization. Keep all the momentum and energy at second order of point. Now go to solution monitors, select residuals. Decrease the residuals up to 10 to the power minus 6 or less for a better accuracy. Click on OK. Now go to initialization, do the hybrid initialization and click on initialize. Hybrid initialization is complete. Now go to round calculation page, enter the number of iterations as 1000, then click on calculate. The iteration process would take some time. Calculation is complete. Now close this frame and proceed, proceed for CFD solver, CFD post processing results output. This is the results window. Now go to location tab and insert a plane at the middle with z is equal to 0. Now insert a contour, new contour and location, share the location as the plane 1, this is the new plane 
the variable as temperature. So leave the local and number of contours as 100. Click on apply. This is our temperature contour at this middle plane. Left side having high temperature and right side having low temperature. And then the mixing ha happens in this middle spherical shape. Now let us see the velocity. You can save this image. You can change the default legend view. This is the temperature at this pipe wall, at the outer of this fluid domain geometry. Let us see this streamlines. Insert a new streamline, select start from and select inlet 1 and inlet 2, then click on OK. Number of points as 50, then click on apply. This is the flow path of this fluid from inlet 1 and inlet 2. By increasing number of points, you can see more number of streamlines. You can increase this value ticks to see the more variations on this legend bar. You can animate, click on animation option, select the streamline, move the slider towards this slow and click on play button. Make it further slow. And click on play button to see the flow animations. This is the result of this animation output. Now let us see the temperatures at this outlet. So go to function calculator, select area bridge location as inlet 1 and the variable as temperature then click on calculate to see the temperature of the inlet 1 that is our input temperature and similarly at inlet 2 that we have given 300 Kelvin now let us check the outlet temperature Outlet temperature is 319.902 Kelvin. This is the resultant of this hot and cold fluid mixture temperature. With this, let us conclude this demonstration. Hope you have liked this video. Subscribe to our channel if you are new. Comment below if you have any doubts or any suggestions regarding your projects. Thank you. Keep learning and keep exploring.